Hey guys, welcome back to another video on Doorknob. And in today's video, I'm gonna teach you the basics of chess and how to set up a board. So the first rule is to basically have to set up the chess board. And I'm gonna show you that in one moment. How to set up the chess board. Okay guys, I'm gonna teach you the basics. So the white square is on the right and the black square is on the left. If it's like this, the black squares on the right and the white squares on the left, that's wrong. Always right square on right and black square on left. So now I'm going to teach you how to set up the board. These are our rooks. They go on each corner of the chessboard. Then we need our knights. Our knights go next to the rooks. And then you might see in the pattern, these are our bishops and they go like next to the knights. And now the most important, the king and the queen. The white king, queen goes to the white squares and our black queen goes on the black square. And same with the king, the king goes on the white square for the black and the white king goes on the black square. Now we need our pawns. These are our pawns. And the easiest way to remember to set up the pawns is to just put them in a line in front of all our other characters, like this. And that's your chessboard set up. Movement of the pieces. Okay, guys, now I'm going to show you the basic of the chess movement. This is our pawn. Our pawn can either move one or two square when it's in our starting position. After it's not in our starting position, it can only move one squares and in a straight line. Now, let's talk about the pawn eating. Let's say this pawn decided to move two squares. And this black pawn also decided to move two squares. Our pawn can either go here, or it can either eat our black pawn. But let's say there is another black pawn here. This white pawn cannot move here, here, and it, can, it cannot move forward because this black pawn is protecting. The only way it can move is to eat this pawn. Now I'm going to show you about our rook. Let's say our pawn moved here, but I, I don't recommend actually putting it here because that's a bad move. Let's say we actually did that. Then our rook can move like that. It can't move side, it, can't, um, it cannot move diagonal, only forwards. And it can turn right or left. So let's say I did this, you can do that and that. So you can do this, this, this. Let's say our rook was here, you can go forward, backwards, left and right, but it cannot go in a diagonal line. Okay guys, now I'm gonna talk about the bishop. The bishop can only move in diagonal lines. So this, this piece, we're gonna move here, so our bishop can move like this. This bishop can only move in white squares, because it's starting. But this bishop can move in only black squares. Can move anywhere around, they can only be on black squares. Now we are going to talk about the king and the queen. Our king can move only one square in any direction. And if our king dies, then you're pretty much game over, automatically losing. But our queen can move anywhere. Our queen is pretty much. A bishop and a rook combined. Abercrombie is a loser. Queen. Our queen is, as I said, a rook and a bishop combined. So it could go anywhere and like that, that, like that, that, go anywhere. And our. Okay, guys. Now, last but not least, the knight. The knight is also very special. Our knight can move. Nearly anywhere, but I wouldn't say actually anywhere. Our knight moves in the L shape. And I'll show you an example of 
where our light could move. Our light can move here, 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 or here. Anyway, because th those are all L shapes. And the knight is the only piece that can jump over other pieces. So let's say our knight's here. Usually all the other pieces cannot move. But our knight is the only one that can jump. These are the basic movements of the knight. Those are the only movements you can do. Guys, that's the end of my chess tutorial. I hope you enjoyed that video and don't forget to like and subscribe. And keep that bell button on. Bye.